Hello everyone, in this video I'll be reviewing this action camera. It's by a brand called Dragon Touch. Model number is Vision 1. And it's an action camera that has 1080p resolution. Um, it also comes with a, a waterproof casing. More attachments as well. F for example, if you're riding a bike, skiing, etc. You've got all the accessories for all these. Uh, the battery is here as well. Now the battery capacity is only 900mAh battery capacity and that gives you around a few hours of usage time before you recharge it. A, the a waterproof casing can go up to 98 feet so around 30 meters down underneath wa water. It also comes with adhesive um, mounts as well and bike ha um, handlebar mount and, and also the screen size is 2 uh, two inch LCD screen uh, let me put this in so I can show you the rest of the features that he has alright I, I will also do a demo testing as well so you can see the quality of this camera so let me switch you on so when he switches on this is how it looks and it also records up to 1080p um, full HD and if you're taking photos, um, that's 12 megapixel photos you can take. So the camera is very stable. Um, you can keep watching my video. You'll see the quality of the recordings and how it captures my voice. This is recording um, on 720p. All right, so it's pretty good. It also takes a micro SD memory card at the bottom. Micro, uh, micro USB charging port on the left side. And that's the capture button, um, taking photos. And... This is more for like zooming in at the front. That's the mode button, and you can see the camera is here. Okay, so that's all the features. It comes with a nice carry case as well, uh, that's very um, handy. It also comes with a remote. So, if you're if, if you're pointing in a certain direction and while you're doing a stunt or something, you've got the buttons here to capture and record whatever footage that you want to record. Okay, so keep watching my video. I'll do a demo testing so you can see the quality. Okay, so this is on 1080p resolution mode. Um, so when you switch it on, it has a, like a three second delay before you switch um, starts recording. So that's not a good sign. Another thing is when you're trying to move, you can see that on the screen it's like it's lagging, so it doesn't really have that stability. And I was capturing my voice, so I, I don't know how it is until I play back and see how the quality of the, of the capturing is. But to be honest, in my opinion, it's not really that good okay, for an action camera because I can really see a lot of fuzziness on the screen when it's moving.